Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today's video is not a nail video. I'm actually making a butterfly. Um, I thought I'd start recording it so that I could share it with you guys. Um, I've got some angel paper. What I done was, so I've kind of done this bit already. Um, I folded the, this is the angel paper I used. I folded it in half and I traced out a, a butterfly wing and then I cut it out with scissors and then I cut it in half so that I had two pretty much identical butterfly wings. Um, and then what I've done is I'm going to just do it on this left wing so that you can see what I've done. I've got Eskimo Kiss Micro Mylar and some gorgeous flakes from, well, I think they were from Beauty Big Bang. But I love the Mylar so I could not leave them off of this little butterfly. And um, I think they look really nice with these flakes. They're kind of like hollow flakes. Um, the only thing is they are, I think they're really meant for like gel polish. And... When you try to pick them up with a little bit of acrylic, you kind of end up getting a bit, a bit of a lump. So what I had to do was spread them out across the wing as best I could. And then over the top of that, I added some of the um, Eskimo Micro, this Eskimo Kiss Micro Mylar. So again, I just picked that up with a bead of wet-ish clear acrylic. And then I just sprinkled that over the top of the flakes. But again, you sort of just have to be careful because the flakes will move. It was a little bit tricky. So this butterfly I done, I actually made this for my nan for her birthday. <laughs> Look how gorgeous that is. So that's going to be like the wing. Um, and then once you're happy with everything, you're going to cap that all in clear acrylic. Now when you're doing this part, you want to kind of try and keep it as neat as possible around the edge just means that you don't have as much filing to do also don't make it too thick you think how fragile a butterfly's a butterfly a butterfly's got a t in it uh, it <laughs> it's got a t in it um you think how delicate butterfly wings are so you don't really want it too thick so just bear that in mind when you are capping it, it you know capping it all in clear so I'm just going to let you watch this bit. I, a lot of this is going to be sped up, this video. It's more, more going to be more of a time lapse, but I'm going to try to explain what I've done as I do it. Okay, so when you've done that and they have set, you're going to just turn them around and this is what they look like on the back. So I, you, you don't have to actually do this part. I wasn't sure how closed or how open I wanted the butterfly wings initially. So I just thought, right, I will repeat the process on the back. Also by repeating the process on the back, that is gonna make the, the butterfly slightly thicker as well. It just depends how, you know, cause if you have the wings quite closed, you're gonna see more of the outside than you are the inside of the wing. I think I'm making sense. So yeah, so I'm just gonna repeat the whole process here. So when that's all done and then the other side is set, you're gonna now want to file them. Try and file them to the same shape. Obviously it's not, I mean, it's not, um, mine were slightly different shapes. So it's not the end of the world, um, but obviously you don't want to make it too different. Otherwise it will be noticeable that perhaps one, one wing is bigger than the other, which is one of the reasons why I cut the angel paper folded in half so that the wings were gonna be pretty much the same size. Okay, so once you've gone over the edges with the file, you can, well, I used my e-file to remove some of the bulk from the wings. It wasn't too bad, but it just helped smooth it out and everything. And then I gave it a buff as well afterwards. And I'm gonna stick it to the blue tag on one of my little nail stands, like you would a nail tip. I'm, I'm going to now create some detail on the wing. This is probably my favourite part, but it is the most... I don't know, I find it really... It took me a little while. It, it did, it took me a little while. I'm not going to not gonna lie. Um, but it was my... It's the favourite part, because this is when you start to see all the wing and everything come to life. So what I always do is, because I can't... 
I'm not very good at drawing from memory. What I like to do is I googled butterflies and then I literally found a butterfly that I liked and then I copied the detail from that butterfly onto my butterfly. It doesn't, doesn't have to be... The butterfly that I copied was a, an orangey butterfly but I just liked the detail on the wings. Um, it was easy to... It wasn't, it wasn't overly complicated. I like to keep things easy. So I'm gonna let you uh, watch me um, just fill in the, the detail on the wings and yeah, just watch this bit. Okay, and now I'm here, I am gonna do the, the filling in of the outside of the butterfly wing again, um, just around this edge part here. So that is what it looks like. Um, you can go in with another coat of gel polish if you find that your gel polish isn't, um, it doesn't cover the wing, you know, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but I didn't need to go in with two coats, so that was absolutely fine. Now I'm using the white artisan gel paint to add the white little kind of dots and detail on the butterfly wings that butterflies have. Again, I just copied it from the picture that I found on Google. <laughs> And then when I have finished, I will then cure this in the lamp. So the artisan gel paints to cure for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna top coat this, this uh, front side of the wing now. I was just worried I didn't want to get things stuck on it if I left it for a bit. But I'm gonna, I will under undercoat, I will top coat the underside as well. But for the minute, I'm just gonna do the top bit. Can you see how gorgeous that's looking? I absolutely, oh God. It's so nice. My nan liked it as well, which was the main thing. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. There we go. So that is going to cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Look at that. Holy moly. Okay. So I do repeat the process on the left wing as well. Uh, basically, it's just exactly the same. You just kind of do it opposite, I suppose, because it's on the left wing. Um, I bought these little... Um, I think they're stainless steel little plates. In some nail competitions, uh, you don't do nails, but you can you can fill in a a little plate with like I, I don't know what I don't know what they're called. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, I had these little stainless steel plates. So what I've done is I've buffed over the top of it, then I put some base coat on, uh, and then I cured it in the lamp. And then this was I think this was cornflour from Nail Um I've applied one coat. Then I'm going to apply a second coat. I'm just pretending it's an absolutely massive nail tip. <laughs> Even though it's like a little plate. Uh, so yeah, that is what I've done. This is going to be our the base for our butterfly. We're going to make this the sky. So I am going to pop this into the lamp when I have finished doing that second layer. Then I'm going to use my little sponge i've got a bag of these this is great i've wet the end slightly with some isopropyl alcohol and i'm just going to put a little bit of white on the um the stainless this the i don't even know what it is i can't even remember where i got it from <laughs> i think i got about 10 of them from ebay but this was i mean i've had them i've been sitting on them for ages please don't ask me for a link <laughs> just google um don't google go on ebay and search for um 
stainless steel discs or something like that this one gave you the option of like uh, like shiny of um satin fit like satin finish you know i can't think what you call it anyway it doesn't matter um so what i'm doing is i'm dipping the little sponge into the artisan gel paint you can use white gel polish to do this um, and I'm going to create some clouds by dabbing it on. I think this gives a really nice effect. I'm just going to flash, well, I'm not flash cure it. I cure it for 30 seconds. The artisan gels take 60, so it's like in half a time. Um, then I'm going to go in with a second coat. Just not in exactly the same place as before. But in some areas, it's going to sort of deepen that white colour. And then I will add just a little bit more randomly over there. Um, just so it looks like clouds. Then I'm going to give it a full cure for 60 seconds and then I will top coat. I, might, I dread to think how much top coat I wasted doing this. Although looking at it, it's probably only a set of nails altogether anyway, isn't it? You know, maybe a long set of nails. I don't know. Anyway, once you've done that, pop that in the lamp. So we are now here. Right, the this is Artisan's... No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's sculpting gel sculpting 4d sculpting gel right I've got, I've got the brown one i don't know i should have used the black one but we're going to use this to create the butterfly's body now on the picture that i looked at the body was sort of brown with black what does this look like though it looks like ted has taken a poop on it only smaller um right okay so that's going to be our butterfly's body i've turned the wings over and i'm not if you want to you can put the detail on the back if you want to but i think how the, the how i want my wings spread out i don't think you're really going to see the back look at that oh my god so i thought i'd just top coat them i'm going to put those in the lamp for 30 seconds and oh my god i could just stare at that all day how flipping amazing is that oh i love them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to squidge them into that uncured sculpting gel what i had to do was i had to hold the wings where I wanted them because they kept falling down I didn't want them that flat I wanted them up a little bit so I held it like that and then I took the stand from the bottom and then I had to hold it under the lamp because otherwise they would have just fallen and the butterfly would have been flat okay then I decided to give it a little bit more strength I'm gonna take I've just got like a little sculpting brush a little 3d sculpting brush um, acrylic one. I'm just going to put two little beads of clear white acrylic underneath the wings where it meets the body. You're not going to see this, so don't worry. Um, if your wings are further up, you might, so you just probably just have to be a little bit neat about it, but uh, you're not going to see them on my butterfly. So I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. And then I'm going to colour in the body with some black artisan gel paint. Again, excuse the state of my hands. They my gel my artisan gel paints leak a little bit so when i undo them and do them up i get uh, gel paint on my fingers and at the end where i'm showing you the butterfly i'd have actually washed my hands it just didn't come off so yeah right so what i done was i put the artisan gel paint on the body and then i cured it and now i'm just using some i've got some non-wipe top coat on my brush and i'm just gone over the body then to finish it off I'm using the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue from Nelchemy and I am putting that on the very tips of the wings and we're going to put three little AB crystals on there just to give the, um, just to give it a little, oops. oh it's my dog's bone, I wonder what he was doing then, dropped off the bed, um, just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm going to do, yeah, so we're going to do the same on each side so that, that cures in the lamp for 60 seconds can you see just gives it a little bit of little you know something something <laughs> there we go um i will give you a quick um a better look without my scruffy background honestly i worked in chaos doing this it was a right mess it was there we go i hope you liked it if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video bye